I've been being attacked on Twitter, just fucking dogpiled, about my ignoring the situation and refusing to speak on it, being too much of a coward to talk about all this, which is crazy to me. And then people saying like, oh, where was the same energy for Dr. Di or where was the same energy that you had for Dr. Disrespect here? And, and it's crazy that I even have to talk about this. So last night during stream, this story was still breaking. Things were still coming out about this story. And I talked about it on stream last night. The same day, all of these pieces of evidence were surfacing. I talked about it immediately. Once I became aware of what the evidence was out there and what the claims were and what was going on, I was talking about it right away. And I even posted a video that is highly edited and short, nice and concise, about the whole bare bones of the situation and my thoughts on it for the second channel, so that way even if you have the biggest brain rot and can't focus on a video for long, you can still finish that whole video and see just how bad this whole Ava Tyson situation is. So I talked about it immediately, but Twitter didn't see that video, and the ones that did wrote it off as, oh, he's only gonna put this on his second channel because he's afraid to put it on his main channel. He didn't do that for Dr. Disrespect, he was like that with Dr. Disrespect. You are provably wrong. All you had to do was activate a few fucking neurons in your noodle. Check my Dr. Disrespect video. I posted it at, I think it was 9 p.m. on June 22nd. June 22nd is when my Dr. Disrespect video went up. The allegation against Dr. Disrespect was on June 21st. So what happened is, that allegation came out. I talked about it on stream. Dr. Disrespect made a statement as well the same day that I talked about on stream. Then the following day, almost a full 24 hours later, I made the video talking about it. And in this situation, it is the exact same timeline. I was talking about it as everything was unfolding. I even had a video go up on the second channel going over everything that was coming out. And now I'm making the full video about it 24 hours later. It's the exact same speed and same energy as the Dr. Disrespect situation. And the main person who started this lightning rod of accusations about me ducking it and refusing to address it is fucking Sneeko of all people. Yo, look out, Moist Critical is not gonna go talk about the Chris situation because he wants to have the Mr. Beast collab. Bro, you're gonna talk about every other trending situation, Dr. Disrespect, Sneeko, anything that goes viral, it goes on your main channel. Chris, the associate of the biggest YouTube channel in the world, you do a four minute clip on your second channel. Stop coping and be a journalist if you're gonna be a journalist, or just say that you wanna have the collab. Stop lying. Jesus Christ, the fucking drool there is gonna drive me insane. I, I need to go put on the fucking bathrobe here and give him PTSD or something. What do you mean it is a four minute clip because I did that so people like you who don't pay attention long enough could see my take on it and also get the bare bones information of what makes it so horrible. That's the reason it's a four minute clip on the second channel. It was never going to be the only video I made talking about it. I was always going to make a full breakdown of this because it's bad. It's a horrible situation. So yes, you're right. I do talk about like big trending bad shit like Dr. Disrespect or like Cody Ko most recently. I don't know why people thought I wouldn't talk about this. I knew Cody Ko far more than I knew Ava Tyson. I talked to Cody Ko at length one time on his podcast and then one other time in DMs. Ava Tyson, I met one and a half times. I, I first met them after a poker game with Mr. Beast. They showed up right at the end, right before I left. And then at the most recent Mr. Beast video, also right when I got out, Ava Tyson showed up and I talked to them for a couple of minutes. But I never knew Ava Tyson very well. Cody Ko I did. And I still wasn't afraid to talk about how awful his shit was. So I've never been someone to fucking shy away from a bad situation like this just because I know or am familiar with the person that it's about. So I don't know why people thought that that would be the case here. And also for the millionth fucking time, I'm not a journalist. I'm like the Z tier stupid journalist, like this actual layman fucking CTE riddled idiot that reports on stories. And I talk about them usually to make jokes about them. In rare cases, and recently it's been very common, there's serious stories that I am very passionate about delivering and talking about how shitty they are. So like in a situation like this, yeah, this isn't really a story that I joke a lot about because it is serious. When there is a victim who is a child here, that's something to take seriously. But I'm not a fucking journalist. Most of the shit I talk about is the most inconsequential mumbo jumbo ever, like aliens in warp drives 
or that recent story about how scientists discovered hippos can fly because they get airborne for a split second, literally like one half of a frame. They're able to get all four little legs off the ground. And I talk about those stories and joke about them. It's just talking about shit to joke about it for the most part, except in cases like this, where it is a serious story that I talk about. Now, Sneeko, I hope you're ready for the cold water here, because I'm going to be brutally honest with you. When this story broke, I thought for sure I would have actually bet money that you would have been some kind of contrarian talking about how this is actually not a big deal and everyone who's pretending to be outraged about it is actually just a hypocrite. Because you have been on this crusade for a while now about not agreeing with the age of consent. So I really thought you'd be talking about how, oh, this is just like Dr. Disrespect, who you ran hard defense for with this imaginary 17-year-old you cooked up in your head based off of one fake email from an anonymous source. And I thought you would be going that angle again, saying like, oh, well, that 13-year-old was probably very mature. Age of consent should be maturity. It's not even 18 in most states. Why do you even believe that? It's because in Hollywood, it's 18, so that gets pushed everywhere. Most places, 16. And if you question that, then they call you a pedo. I believe the age of consent is the age of maturity. It should be called the age of marriage. Age of consent implies that you're going to have out of wedlock. I think it's better that people get married at 16, 17 than to have a bunch of premarital until they're 30 and they're washed up and then they get jaded and they're on birth control and they have dried up eggs. I think that's better for society. He's so pseudo-intellectual that he actually argues for things that defend pedophilia. That's fucking ridiculous. And when challenged on this, it's even worse. So there's an older clip now, it's quite a few months old, where XQC and Destiny actually challenge him on this right to his face and holy shit, it's bad. You Coffee see how you want to answer the question? You see how he's going to yap and not answer the question? I'm going to ask just, the same thing I when you're done. Answered, Go ahead. I just answered the question. I just told you. What was the age? I just told you at a developed age. Sneeko thinks what you should be able to fuck nine-year-olds. That's what Sneeko thinks, and he won't answer that question honestly. Or he's going to have to give a different answer, in which case he's updated his morality. He's updated his views, and that's really uncomfortable for him. You don't have an answer to any of this shit, bro. Go back to fucking uh, that fucking corner in London where you're getting roasted by year one debaters on fucking Christianity. This is retarded. I don't know what the fuck you're doing in here. Okay, so you can leave the call. I wanted to go talk about this word. I want to leave the call. I like leave. hanging out here. I've talked to a lot of pedophiles in the past, so. Okay. Okay, Sneeko, I'm actually curious now. What, what do you think the age of development is? I just told you. It, it depends on where you are. It okay, depends okay. on okay. the world. Then, then, then at what stage do you think somebody is developed in? What stage, what stage of, 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 of development? Because there's a lot of it varies. development. It varies. I it don't varies. think there's a specific, varies on the what? I think it varies on the age. It varies on the age? It depends well, on where you, you are. Need, you, you, need, you need to have set ages for that. There are stages of development. As, as a child, an adolescent... An you can hear him start to snivel in the background there as he's sucking up snot from his nose, getting cooked, and his brain is fucking overheating, malfunctioning, trying to formulate some kind of response to the easiest question in the world about what he thinks the age of consent should be. He keeps talking about the age of development and then can't even put a number on it. So everyone, please feel free to ask Sneeko what he thinks the age of consent should be if you want to see a human being fucking glitch out and malfunction like an Oblivion NPC. Can't answer the most basic question in the world. That is concerning. You realize how deranged that makes you look, Sneeko? That makes you look like an actual danger to society that you don't agree with the age of consent and try and argue around it? That's what every pedophile ever that Chris Hansen talked to would do. Like, you're a fucking weirdo. So for you of all people, this fucking putrid vermin, this absolute slimy worm, to have the gall to say that I only care about the Mr. Beast collab, thus this whole story is just relegated to, You'd never use that word, that word's too big for you. This whole story is just put on his second channel where no one's gonna see it because it's safer that way so he can keep the Mr. Beast collab alive. He's afraid, he's a coward for it. He has no problem abandoning his morals and defending blatant pedophilia, brushing it under the rug as long as it means it keeps the Mr. Beast collab alive. For you to make insinuations like that, and even claims like that, is fucking unhinged, considering you make actual pedophile defense arguments constantly, and you have publicly put on the clown makeup and worn white knight armor, complete with the shield, to defend Dr. Disrespect when he himself publicly admitted to messaging a minor inappropriately. It's fucking insanity.